Today on JIC Labs, we show you how to generate random numbers using Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, you're going to see we have not really any data, but we have some random numbers that we want to find out. So let's jump right into it. So with Microsoft Excel, you have the ability to generate random numbers using some of the built-in functions from Microsoft Excel. So let's first look at the first one, equals rand, open up those parentheses, and we're going to close those parentheses. And we get 0.33298. And let's take a look at this guy. And what that does is that generates a number between 0 and 1. Anytime with these numbers, keep in mind, as every equation you will see, is if we go and hit enter again, we will get a new number. Every time the worksheet refreshes or you manually refresh it, it's going to generate a new random number. So if you want to lock the random numbers that have been generated into place, what you need to do is copy and paste special. That'll keep the numbers from updating for you. So if we want to do zero to 100, same thing, rand, open and close those parentheses times 100. And there you go. You see, we have an equation of 15.8941. Now let's say this, we want a number between zero and a thousand. Guess what? You guessed it. Equals ran, open and close those parentheses times a thousand. And there we go. And if you notice, every time we've entered new information, the worksheet is updated and these numbers are changing. But real quick, let's look at that. Rand open and close times a thousand. But what if we want a whole number? We come in here and we say INT, which is gonna give us rounding to the nearest integer. Again, open the parentheses, we'll do RAND, open and close those parentheses times 100 because we're looking for zero to 100. Close out that parentheses and hit enter. And you're gonna see we've received 37 as our random number. Let's go ahead and show you that equation and we've updated things and the numbers keep changing. So again, if you wanna keep them locked in stone, copy, right clicks, paste special, and values. See, even when we pasted those values, the numbers in column B have updated where the numbers in column C were locked in place. So we're gonna leave them as functioning equations. So as we're working through this, you will see all of these numbers change. I'm going to go ahead and delete the paste special values. And as you can see, update it again. Now that's great for choosing between zero and one, zero to a thousand, so on and so forth. But what if we want a random number to be generated between a specific high and low number? Well, we're going to use rand between, and we're going to go ahead and put that in, open the parentheses. The first thing we need to know is the bottom number, which we could physically type in five. Or we can come up here and select a 15 comma the high number, the top number of 125 and we'll select B15 for that, close out those parentheses and we'll hit enter. And we got 56 and that generates a whole number for us. And we come up here and we'll show you that equation equals ran between open the parentheses the numbers in which you could do, in our case, we wanted five and 125, so we could have hard-coded that, but we've used cell references of A15 and B15. If you have Microsoft 365, you can also generate numbers into an array. And that is done with the equation equals rand array, open up those parentheses, and the number of rows we want, for our example, we're gonna use three, number of columns, four, and then we can also set a min number or a max number. And if you leave those blank, you just comma through them, or in this case, let's do one and 25 as our max. And then it's gonna say, do you want it to be true or false? If you set it as false, it'll give you decimal places. But if you set the equation as true, it will give you full integers. And you go ahead and close out the parentheses and hit enter. And now we can see it's populated our random numbers for us. If we take a look real quick, it's equals random array, 
open and close in our hard-coded test example down here we did 1 to 10 but in our example we did 1 to 25 let's update that real quick 1 to 10 and there we go okay so now let's look at one other variation this has been all positive numbers if we wanted to come in here we could say our low number is going to be minus 10 to 10 if we go ahead and hit enter you can see now we have a random array between negative 10 and positive 10 and down here the hard coding would look like this and as you can see it has updated again each time the sheet has updated for us well that is great but let's see here well right now we can see we've got duplicated numbers and there is a way, a couple ways that you can work around it. Some are great, some are not. But let's come in here in example one where we're looking for no repeated numbers. And we're gonna do random array again. And we're gonna have, let's say, 25 rows. And if we just did close out those parentheses just like this, we're gonna have 25 rows of decimal place information. So you don't have to fill out all of that information unless you want to. If you just wanted 25 random decimal places numbers, you're good. All right, so we're gonna come in here with rand array, open up those parentheses. We want 20 rows and we want one column. So we could hit comma one, but if you just want one column, you can hit comma again and we'll go one. The max number will be 50 and we want full numbers. So we'll say true. Close out those parentheses and hit enter. But you can see right here, we have 33 repeated three times. And that's not what we want. So if you remember a few videos ago, we looked at the unique function, which is linked up over here. So we'll come in and add in the unique function. And then we're gonna nest the rand array. Again, we want 20 rows, one column, one to 50, and we wanted the full numbers or whole numbers. Close out those parentheses and hit enter. And there we go. So as you saw right on the very first time we got the hashtag spill function, but if you refresh the numbers, we generated those numbers. But as you can see, we have 17 rows, not the 20 that we wanted. And why is that? Because we are still running the rand array of 20 rows for between one and 50 as a whole number. But unique is saying, I'm only gonna report the unique values that Rand Array has generated. Well, that's great, but if you wanted actually 20 random numbers, that may or may not be the best solution for you. So there is another way that we can show you utilizing sequence and sort by to give you the full 20 random numbers that you're looking for. So if we come in here and we say equals sort by, open up those parentheses, we're gonna go sequence and we're gonna do 20 because we want 20 numbers outputted. That's by array. And then we're gonna go enter the comma and we're gonna go rand array. And again, number of rows, 20. Now this is critical. You need your rand array number of rows to equal the same amount of your sequence function. So again, min is gonna be one, max will be 50, and true for whole numbers. Close out the parentheses and hit enter. And as you're gonna see, now we have 20 rows and no duplicates. We got the hashtag spill once again on our unique function. So not the best solution, but sometimes it will do that. Give you the hashtag spill, but you can always, right now, as you can see, we have it. But right now we only have 17 because our rand array gave us a couple of numbers that were duplicated. So unique hit those from us. With example two, with sort by sequence and rand array, we were able to generate 20 random numbers that do not duplicate. Example one with unique works but it may not give you the full 20 or full however many that you're looking for based off of the criteria you put into rand array 
and unique. If you're only picking, let's say you have 20 rows, but your low number is one and your high number is 10, well, the probabilities are you're gonna only have 10 rows because you won't have enough samples or enough data to be able to generate you know, ra unique random numbers for 20 rows that your, uh, your limits are one through 10. So keep that in mind when you are trying to utilize these. And again, as always, once you have your numbers, you can copy and paste them special. So each time you update a cell, the numbers don't change as everyone else, except for example two is right now for us. Hopefully you found this video helpful for helping you to generate random numbers with Microsoft Excel. As you can see, there are a couple different ways to go about generating random numbers in Excel. And with Microsoft 365, you can generate arrays and then you can also go to the next step and generate random numbers with no repeats. Thank you all for watching and we look forward to seeing you all next week. Keep in mind in the comments down below, we will post a link for this file so that you can download and work through it with us together. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. We wanted to be in a, let's assume we,